Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome back to the 3D Game Engine tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be taking the second major step to adding a real rendering engine to our game engine. And that really is the transform... whoops, not what I intended to do. That's the transform and the camera system. Because... Uh, we really shouldn't have to... Well, let me put it this way. We shouldn't have to initialize a camera manually and do all the transform setup in the initialization of our game. Our game should really be initializing game-specific stuff, not rendering stuff. Yeah, it should have loading meshes. Yeah, it should have loading materials. Yeah, it should have adding objects to our game object list. But it shouldn't have setting up the rendering engine. That should be in the engine system, not the game system. So we're going to be changing that a little bit in this video. And it's really the first goal is changing our perspective, so to speak. We're going to be taking our... where is it? Yeah, all this, our perspective system, and we're going to be moving it to the camera class. And it's going to be on a per-instance basis. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to have a private matrix for F. I'll call... Pers yeah, I'll just call it projection. And, yeah. Import. And that's really going to be our, our new task. And in fact, I'm going to change this a bit. I'm not... I'm going to... change our constructor for the camera. I'll put it that way. I'm not going to take in a position, a forward and up. That's all going to be by default, and if people want to change it, they're going to have to change it. So, this is going to equal a new vector 3f of 0, 0, 0. This is going... so position is going to be that. Forward is going to be 1 on the z-axis, normalized. Actually, I shouldn't need to normalize it, but... and eh, why not, just in case I screw up somewhere later down the road. And up is going to be 1 on the y-axis. What we're going to be taking in, however, are four parameters, actually. We're going to take in... and a field of view. This will be in radians, actually. This will be the first in our new transition from mostly going with angles in our math classes, like, I don't know what the non-radian system is called, but you know, like degrees, angles, you know, that stuff. Yeah, this is going to be the first step in our sort of transition from going to that in our math classes to radians in our math classes. Because, yeah, that stuff's more convenient, but it works better if the convenience is at the highest level possible, if that makes any sense. Like, the person who's actually using the code should have to convert to radians, not we should have to convert to radians all the way down at the lowest level, if that makes any sense. If not, don't worry, you'll get it in a moment, or when we actually go further, but yeah, that's sort of what we're doing. We're going to have an aspect ratio, which is our width over height, because yeah, we don't really need a width and a height, so yeah. We need aspect, we need something else. Oh yes, Z near, the near clipping plane, and Z far, the far clipping plane. And I'm going to set this dot per projection to a new matrix 4F dot init projection. And in fact, I'm going to change that in the matrix class. I'm going to change it all the way down here, because we don't need to know the width and the height, we just need to know the aspect ratio. And here I'm going to also get rid of the two radians. We don't... well, we don't need that. So... Yeah, I'm just going to say, just so our code keeps work. Yeah, you know, I'll just... Yeah. So our code keeps working, I'm going to change this to... assign that to aspect ratio. But... Okay, fine. There we go. If they provide a refactoring tool, I'm just going to do it, but yeah. Anyways, so we've changed the perspective code. That That's the whole point of this. Or the projection... Why is it still called init projection? In fact, let's change that too. To init perspective. Because that's just more pers more descriptive. It's a perspective projection. So yeah, and here we're just going to pass in FOV aspect Z near Z far. So there. And there's our perspective matrix. This, alright, I'm going to leave input as it is for now. Eventually we're going to move that out of the camera class. And you know, also... Soon enough, I'm also going to start changing these for, to actual generic rotation methods so that we don't have the sort of my forest system so it doesn't go over 180. 
because a lot of people have been asking about that. Don't worry, we'll be changing that soon enough. I just... not quite yet. And... that's almost everything, actually. The only other thing I want to do here... So I want to add a new method, public void, get projection... get... yeah, view projection. This is going to get, well, the view projection matrix. And here's how this is going to work. It's going to take some of the code that's in our transform class. Good lord, this code's getting to be a mess. But yeah, it's going to take... Oh yeah, I don't care about that. I'm going to change that soon enough anyways. The init camera thing, this sort of thing right here, the camera rotation and camera translation. And it's going to put them in the camera class, where they really should have belonged in the first place. And yeah, I'm just going to say... I could use getters, but I'm just going to use variables now, because I have access to them. So forward and up. And this is going to get... Mm, yeah, negative position dot get x. And so forth and so on. And while I'm at it... Yeah, while I'm at it, I'm also going to change this to... from init camera in here to init rotation, because that's what it is. It is another way of initializing a rotation. I'm going to try and spread out the refactoring of the math classes so it's as, as unpainful as possible. I'm not sure how possible that's going to be, because we're going to have to do quite a bit with it, but I'll try. And here? Well... Wait. Oh, right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw, saw something I was missing, but no. Okay. And when you multiply these two mat matrices together like this, that will get us... Oh, I don't need the transformation matrix right now, thank you. But when we multiply these together like this, that gets the view pro or the view matrix. And we multiply the projection times this, that'll get us the projection matrix. Oh, and this returns a matrix for F. And there. Eventually I might change this so it doesn't calculate the view matrix every time, even if it's not necessary. But I'll just leave it like this for now. And that should really get the camera more in line with what I want. Now, I'm just going to comment out most of these... Yeah, that method, pretty much. Because <laughs> I'm not going to really... Eh, alright, alright. Mm. You know what, no. Mm. Okay, you know, for the time being, I'll leave it in. How about that? And it'll just return camera dot get view projection times get transformation there eventually I'm gonna phase this method out as, as well but I don't think now's the most appropriate time to do that okay so that should do most of the at least oh and get rid of these don't need that anymore so yeah no no more need for setting projections or anything like that and yeah that should be everything at least for now now we just need to use our new system, because right now we've just broken everything. For starters, I'm going to get rid of the camera variable. No more static data here. No more getting and setting the camera. And instead, I'm going to take in the camera as a parameter here. So, there you go. Just like that. And this is going to horrendously break every single piece... Well, maybe not every single piece of code, but a lot of code. So let's just start at the beginning, right here. We need to get projected transformation, and we don't have a camera. What gives? Here. I'm just going to sort of go through the errors. Here, we have that. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to comment this code out for now, because event. Well, right now, I'm going to be moving it into other places. And... Yeah. Okay, anything else? Ah, right here, I'm set setting the uniform and the fong shader. So yeah, this is putting a lot of stuff on our plate to change, and what I'm really going to do right now is I'm just going to take the extraordinarily lazy way and just put the camera in the rendering engine. I'll just call it main camera. And that's really what I'm going to be doing here. It's definitely not <laughs> the idea ideal solution, but hey, if this is the worst thing we have to do right now, I'll take it, because we're going to have to do a few things to refactor this code properly, 
it, it's generally going to get better, but there's going to be a few weird things like this, where we have a main camera. And you know, this really isn't that bad. I'm sort of making this out to be worse than it is, but you know. You know. Yeah, yeah. And for now, I'm just going to initialize it with the parameters we have in test game, which would be... Oh, right. Hmm. And window.get width over window.get height, and make sure to cast these to float so that the data is right. Well, you know, it's the right type of data. It's doing floating point division. And what else? Ah, zero point. All oh, right. Math dot two radians this, and zero point zero one f and one thousand point o f is a far plane. And there, that should create a new camera, but it's not. Ah, because that's double. Stupid double. There we go. Now, with that, we should finally... Well, we should have a basic system, I should say. And for the camera, I'm just going to go, yeah, right here. Alt, insert, getter, and setter for the main camera. And reformat it, because that's how I like it. Yeah, okay, there we go. And now you might be wondering, well, how are we going to actually access that data? Because, actually, let me re rebuild really quick, just so I know where the errors still are, because I commented some stuff out. And, ah, like right here. How are we going to get access to the rendering engine? What, what are we going to do? And my solution to this... <laughs> and you're probably not going to like this, Actually, wait, hang on. One second. Well, one, one, one second. I just think I may have had a stroke of genius. It's probably not, but I might have. Where's the shader? Where's the update uniforms method? Aha! Okay. Well, I wasn't planning on doing this until later, but I realized that by doing it right now, I can solve that problem. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change my update uniforms method. It's going to take in some transform, transform, and some camera, camera. And you might be wondering, why on earth would I do this? And, well, you'll see soon enough. Well, you'll see right now, actually, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some public void method here called set rendering engine. You see where I'm going with this now? So. Yeah, the shader is going to be able to keep track of the rendering engine. Rendering engine, rendering engine. Because, well, that's where... This is where half the logic of the rendering engine is going to go. So this dot rendering engine equals... Oh, right, I need to take in some... Rendering engine, rendering engine, sure. And, of course, public void get rendering engine, which I'm going to move... I'm going to move these to the bottom, like my convention. And it's going to return the rendering engine. So there. And by the way, in case you're wondering, this is still semi-temporary code. So this is probably going to get changed a little bit later as well. But at least for now, it provides a semi-elegant solution to our problem. And... Alright, that's just stuff that I'm not using yet. It's complaining. Okay, so that means here... For one, I need to change this to transform, transform, and camera, camera. And this is why I was going to get rid of this, because, well, yeah, wasn't planning on doing it right now, but, well, that came up, so, yeah. That's why I'm going to be able to get rid of it, because when I need to get the world matrix, I'm, well, I'm going to have it. So, yeah. And... So just gonna have matrix 4f world matrix equal to transform dot get yeah I'll say get transformation for now and then matrix 4f projected ma matrix whoops ma yeah <laughs> there you go and that's going to equal camera dot get view projection times world matrix and that should still work and here I'm just gonna change this to get rendering engine dot get main camera 
And okay, cool, that should fix Fong Shader. We're actually going to be changing Fong Shader quite dramatically, but, you know. Oh, and here. Again, I can change it. To... Oh, wait a minute. I don't need... Why do I need to... Hang on, hang on a second. Something is not right here. Where's my shader? Dang it. Yeah, if I'm going to have the rendering engine as my temporary solution, I'm not going to need to take in the camera just yet. So, yeah... I guess I sort of spoiled it, I, if, if spoilers were really important here, but uh, yeah, eventually I'm planning to move camera as a parameter into the update uniforms method, but for now I'm going to be putting it as, well, like this, just so that we have something that works for now. And geez, I'm really running low on time. I'm going to try and finish this up as soon as I reasonably can. So sorry if this runs a little bit longer. Yeah, this is going to take in transform... And whatever errors do I have? Come on, I know I have... I know I have something. What about basic shader? That can't possibly be... Oh, right, because that's not using the right method. That explains a few things. Transform, transform. There. Go ahead, import. Go ahead, import. There we go. And do what I've done in Fong Shader. Where's Fong Shader? This. Okay, cool. Now I could do like that, and there. That's how it's going to be for the time being. And sure, I should be able to run now and maybe get something meaningful. Actually, I think it will. Nope, 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 okay. I thought I might have forgotten something. Ah, right, I never actually set the rendering engine. So, yeah, one moment, I'm going to go to... This is my rendering... Oh, right. Is my rendering engine class. I just forgot it got a lot bigger. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to have some shader shader. That's going to equal basic shader dot get instance. And I'm going to say shader dot set rendering engine to this. There. Now if I build and run and do all that stuff, well, this is the result. We're able to see things once again. And in fact, while I'm at it, <laughs> what I can do, this is a temporary hack, by the way, but what I can do temporarily is I can have a public void input here, which is just going to do main camera dot input. And I can go ahead and call that in core engine, wherever that is. Here, let's close everything else and just reopen it from here. Yeah. And just temporarily, I, I again, I stress, temporarily, say, rendering engine dot input. We're eventually going to move this to sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, the component system, I guess? Yeah. So now we can explore. But eventually we're going to move that to the component system. I'm just doing it like this for now, because, well, just to let you keep exploring the world. And yeah, I've run, I've done more time than, er, this video has taken longer than I expected, so I guess you get an extra long video. Sorry about that. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and see you next.